All right, we are just two days away from the NBA trade deadline. Things are heating up. Our agent Marjanowski tweeted this today. ESPN sources Minnesota orchestrating three-team trade talks with Houston and Atlanta with hopes of ultimately turning discussions into a four-way deal that brings Golden State D'Angelo Russell to the Timberwolves. Russell landing in Minnesota is something that's been discussed since the, before the season started, guys. Looks like it could happen now, but there's a lot of moving pieces. So the big Clint Capella to Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. They'd hope to get Robert Covington to Houston, and they would use the draft picks they got from Atlanta to give to Minnesota I'm to get you. Covington and also pick up some sort of more mid-level center to just kind of eat up some of those minutes. Six years then are Minnesota, crying listening to this. which would have those draft picks, right, from Atlanta to Houston to them, would then use those to help put together the deal for D'Angelo Russell. Do you think all of this dominoes will happen in the next 48 hours, and do you think the fit is good if they could get it there? Well, if I knew who the GM of the Knicks were, I could tell you if they had a better chance of getting <laughs> D'Angelo <laughs> Russell, but since I don't know that, uh, I do think that we know Carl Anthony Towns wants D'Angelo Russell. They're friends. I can picture the pick and roll right now. This team needs something. The free fall that the Timberwolves in is, is stunning mm -hmm. to me, and so I wouldn't discount this happening. D'Angelo Russell is the one player, I think we can all agree, it appears to be on the move, and Robert Covington would be the second, right? Those seems to be the two guys we know are going to be going somewhere. You know, I, I like it. I would like to see Russell and hopefully Towns be able to pick it up. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a player that's kind of underachieved a little bit, and I think it'll be great because when I mean underachieved, I mean the, the, the team having ability right. to start to play and be competitive a little bit, and I think him and Wiggins just hasn't put it together this season. Yeah. Ugh. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is frustrated overall. Voices his frustration about not being selected to the All-Star team, telling the Minneapolis Star Tribune, quote, it's unfortunate that this year's All-Star game won't have the 24 best players in the NBA. He said, I've been disrespected since I came in. It's nothing new when I didn't see my name up there. Scotty, do you think Carl Anthony Towns should be an All-Star? Is he being disrespected? Well, I will say this first. There's every year the 24 best players are not always there, whether it's injuries or what have you. So I don't think that he's being disrespected. I think that there's a message being sent to him that he has to lift his team up. It's not about your individual numbers uh, becoming an all-star. At times that works if the fans are able to overwhelmingly get you in. But your, your peers, your coaches, those are the people that have to get the respect for you to be an all-star. And I don't think he's quite earned that yet. So no more Mr. Nice Guy here. This is angry Carl. Mm -hmm. And this started early in the year. He was very upset he wasn't on the All-NBA team mm -hmm. either and has expressed his dissatisfaction to many media members. And I was on a little bit of the end of that. But the All-Star game, that's voted by the coaches. I think they look at winning teams and also games played. Those are the two things coaches always want. Win games for me and be able to get on the court. I really believe that if Carl Anthony Towns hadn't gotten hurt, that there might have been a different outcome from it. I really think it's that simple. I don't think it's disrespect as much as, hey, you, you missed, you know, same reason why Paul George wasn't selected. Right. No, I think that's absolutely true. It has been tough. As you mentioned, he has been out, and the team has been doing terribly. The last time the Timberwolves won a game that Carl Anthony Towns played in was before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wow. It is February. Yeah. That is a long, long time to go and contributes to why everything fell the way it did. I don't think there's any question that he is among the top 25 players in the sure. NBA. Absolutely. But that's not how every – each time that you have, get one of these checks, all-star, all-NBA, the qualifications are all different, and you very you enumerated it. That's why. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, Check out ESPN Plus.